All right, we go to the next game on Thursday, December 30th. Music City Bowl, Nashville, Tennessee, home of the Tennessee Titans in this stadium. Uh, the Purdue Boilermakers and the Tennessee Volunteers playing close to home here. Uh, we've got uh, Tennessee four and a half point favorites here, 63 uh, the total in this game. Uh, total's already been bet, bet up, and I certainly agree with that. Uh, we know Purdue offensively. Purdue under Jeff Brom, Connor Mack, if you look back at their bowl games with the extra time to prepare, they've been very good in the bowl games offensively, I find. And I find they've actually done – they've been a decent bowl team uh, under Jeff Brom the last uh, few years. I'm going to go back and look just to verify that. But off the top of my head, I know for a fact Purdue's been one of those teams that in the bowl games – now, last year they didn't make one, but – uh, you know, a couple of years ago when they did get to a bowl game, Purdue, they were a pretty good team in those bowl games uh, for the most part. They had the tough year against Auburn, but again, Auburn, they were a little bit outclassed in that one. They beat Arizona, I believe, in Brom's first year uh, in a bowl game as underdogs. And, you know, you look at this matchup here against Tennessee, you give a savvy offensive minded head coach like Jeff Brom time to prepare, get the offense ready. And you saw this offense really play well. 31, 40, 32, 44 down the stretch. They put up points. Uh, there's no question about that. They looked sharp. Aiden O'Connell became – he finally latched on to the starting job. He grabbed it, and he played well down the stretch. And he's already announced just uh, in the last day or two that he's coming back to Purdue. So pretty good chance that he's going to end up playing in this bowl game here for Purdue. This could be a live dog situation. I'm not – I'm a little bit concerned that it's so close to home for the Vols. I mean, obviously, you're going to get a lot of burnt orange uh, in the crowd here. Uh, backing this Vols team, good support from the fan base, but – uh, I would lean to taking the points in what's probably going to be a back-and-forth affair. I think Purdue's going to put up points against this Tennessee defense with O'Connell. I think on the flip side with that up-tempo offense for Tennessee and Hendon Hooker, who really played well offensively once he took over the starting job down the stretch. That was a very good Tennessee offense uh, that went over the total in five straight games, Tennessee, to end the year. Uh, Purdue trended over the total three of their last four. And this is not some small move. This total opened 58 and a half, and it's 63 now. So, uh, I for, and I fully agree. I totally get why this total's gone up. This should be a shootout here, as long as the weather's not too bad. And I, I lean to the dog here. I think Purdue's, you know, I, it, Jeff Brom, I think at bowl season's a decent bet on coach here, in my opinion. And in a back and forth game where it could be one of those games where it's back and forth, single possession type of game, getting the points with Purdue is something I'd be looking at more than laying it with Tennessee. Uh, Connor, what do you think here? Music City Bowl. Yeah, I don't know if four is enough. Four, four and a half here with Purdue. Uh, one thing, though, Purdue, talk about beginning of the year, first six games, dead under team defense. This defense went to shambles. They were, like you talk about, over team, giving up a ton of points all year long. So at the end there, Tennessee up and down, up and down. I think the total's light here. Tennessee went over at nine, nine and three to the over. Uh, just give me the over here. And I lean. I wish I was getting more a touchdown here with Purdue. I think Tennessee's better than them. Like you talked about, there'll be a ton of fans there with them. So nothing on the side. Just give me the over. 